Hello guys, Pablo here. What we'll be doing now is creating a list of our projects using a user interface element called image lists. Image lists are similar to list view to, to what's known as list views in other platforms and they don't necessarily have to contain images like you're seeing here. So we want to have that added onto our settings page. Let's begin by adding a new container which will be an empty image list. It, uh, I'm creating it as an empty image list because we will populate this using JavaScript. We give it a unique ID of projects list. The data type needs to be image list and it's not containing any images and we want the remove buttons to be shown because we will implement those as well later on. Now when do we want this to be initiated? In bbui.js the, the what's called the screens, the HTML fragments are only loaded once you click on the corresponding tab, when, once, you, once you call for them. Every time that you open one of these screens there's an event called on DOM ready being executed. That event is being executed after the DOM is shown on the screen. So we want to get a hold of that event and then we want to execute certain actions only when the screen that's being loaded is settings.html. So in our initiation initiation uh, code, initialization code for the BB object we are going to create uh, a listener for on DOM ready. You can find examples of these um, in here. And that's going to be a function which um, contains, uh, uh, receives the, the, the DOM element of our screen, the actual div, the, the ID of the screen, and optional parameters. So let's start by just showing something on the console when this is loaded on DOM ready event so that you can see what I mean by that event. That's gonna be called it's it's called at the beginning because we're loading track.html and then every time I click on a on a tab it's that's being loaded again. Now how do I do it to only get certain actions executed only for a, for a certain page. Well that's very easy. Just use that if statement and check for the ID which in our case is um, settings. Let's recall that um, in all of our pages when we refer to settings we um, enter an ID in here. That's the file name and that's the ID so that's what that's the name we're using. And when that happens, we wanna uh, we wanna run this um, init settings method that I'll show you right away. We're gonna give it the element as well because we wanna modify that element by adding elements to our list view. Let's recall that we wanna add a header that says um, projects, and then we wanna add all the existing projects with the client names below. Um, let's go to our um, main object. See that I created a, a method called init settings. And what's going to happen here uh, might be a bit confusing at first, but it's actually very simple. Um, we'll define. We'll start by defining two variables. One of them will contain all the elements of the list, and the other one will be used to contain the current element of the list. Let's start by creating the header one. We create a div element in our document that's that's been stored here. We give it the data type of header. That's what you have to do to, to get that list header. Um, the, the HTML is going to be projects. And we are adding that to our list. It's going to be the first element in our list. What we'll do next is create, it's, it's iterate through all of our projects. Let's um, remember that this is where our projects are stored 
um, we uh, start from zero, we get the length of the array, and then we, we call these um, as many times as elements there are in the array. Now, you might have seen this in a different way, like, um, like instead of using array len, they, they would just write this in here. But the problem with that is that then you're getting the length of the array on each step of the iteration, and that's um, cons that uh, consumes resources in your in your in your device. This is better practice because then you only get that length once, and then that length, um, then, then we're just calling the the variable that stores the length. We're not calculating the length of the array on each step. Inside of this iteration, what we'll do is very similar to what we did in here, which is creating a new div, a new div um, that's going to be that's going to have a, a custom attribute called project ID. That's an attribute I've just created. It's not something that's part of the framework or anything. I'm just using that to store these um, values here. Um, so I can't use ID because it's, I mean, it has other meanings in a, in HTML, so I just call it project ID. And I'm getting the, the ID of the current project in the iteration. After that, uh, we are giving it the data type of item just like we did with a uh, header in here, now it needs to be called item. And, and the, the, the title is going to be the name of the project. And then there's an area, there's space for, for, for like a subheader that's in the inner HTML, it's going to be the name of the client. And the last thing I'll do in this array is to actually push that item into the list of uh, elements. And the last thing we'll do is um, get the, the, the element, the actual screen. We're going to select um, the projects list. Let's remember that uh, that's the project list, the actual image list. So in here, we're, we're referring to the image list for the first time. So far, we've, we've created this in, a, in an abstract way. But now we are getting the actual uh, image list. And we're using a, a, a method that, that these kinds of elements have, that image lists have, it's part of the, the API, um, to refresh it and um, by by showing the elements on the on the list. So if I didn't make any silly mistake, it should all be showing once I go to settings. Yeah. The buttons are being shown but they're not they don't have the functionality yet. That's something we'll be, we'll look into right away. So, um, let me summarize what we've done. We've created um, an empty image list. We've um, created a listener for the on DOM ready event, which is called every time a screen is, um, is pushed to the screen. But we only care about the settings one, so we're only executing this when the, the current screen is settings. And what we're doing when the current screen is settings is actually creating elements for that list, a header, and then items. And we are putting them all into the image list by refreshing it. And that allows it to, to be shown on the screen.